Hey, what's up guys? <clears throat> it's Matt Modi with Odds Jam. What we're going to do in this video, we're going to bet some hockey. So game six, props to the Lightning. I didn't think they were going to win game five in Colorado. Props to them, they did. They forced a game six. And you just can't kill these back-to-back -back champs, the Tampa Bay Lightning. So props to them. Now we head back to Tampa Bay so they get a home game in game six. See if they can close it out. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to provide my best bet. So, of course, um, all of the bets that I get in general, I get using the positive EV page. And we only see one play on here. So, if you had to guess what my play would be, you see it right here. Um, but this play actually has a ton of value. I think it's a really, really good play. So, first of all, let's talk about it from a math perspective. It is a positive expected value play. DraftKings has it at minus 115 with the Ajdam line pricing it at minus 129. It's Ajdam line here. It's pulled from the most accurate bookmaker in the world. It's going to have the most efficient betting line. And it's what we view as the quote-unquote true line. So anywhere in which you're getting more favorable odds on another book, it's going to have positive expected value associated with it. And that's exactly what we see here. So the no VIG odds, and the VIG is just the juice that sports books price up odds. It's how they make their money uh, by charging a VIG. They don't charge a transaction fee. So in order to find out the true line of what the uh, this Ajdam line prices it at, you just need to remove the VIG. So we see it here at about, let's call it minus 119. Let's round up. And betting this on DraftKings, we get it at minus 115. So that gap between the minus 119 and the minus 115 is what has positive expected value. That's where you find your edge. So normally, the sports books, the VIG, they get the edge on you. By using um, Ajdam, by using positive EV plays, you can get the edge on the sports books. Now, another reason I like this, besides the fact that I know it's positive and expected value, is just looking to see where all the sports books price it. So, what I did, you saw me open it in a new tab. So, the play here is under six. So, if I scroll down and look at under six, we see every other book pricing this in the minus 120s with some of them having it in the minus 130s, like FanDuel and Bet Rivers. So this is pretty insane value, getting it on DraftKings at minus 115. Uh, so I think it's a really good bet for a discrepancy reason as well. Now looking at the scores, it's kind of interesting. Games 1, 2, and 3 went above this number. Games 4 and 5 have had exactly 5 goals. So I think, you know, the, uh, the Lightning goalie, uh, whose name is escaping me, kind of struggled to begin the series. He seems to have found his footing, given up two goals, three goals, two goals, and three straight games. So I don't necessarily think the Lightning have another six goal barrage in them. So getting this to go under six, I think is a really good bet. So this is going to be a three unit play for me. I'm going to, I recommend putting three units on this one. And that's going to be it. That's going to be all I got for you. So if you're tailing this, I'd love to hear it. You know, hit me up, comment on the video. Let me know you're tailing. Other than that, please remember the big the big three. Like, share, and then, of course, subscribe to the IGM YouTube channel. But that is all I got for you. So I appreciate you guys watching, and have a good one.